This week, more than 7 million lined up for unemployment checks nationwide, and every week it keeps getting worse. For those in the inner city, the national 7% unemployment rate, though, would be a godsend, because in certain parts of Atlanta, their rate is closer to 35%. And for every number in those statistics, there's a real person like Deborah Smith out there looking for a job. Sometimes I have friends that are working already, and I ask them about jobs. So if they know about a job and if they got a job opening, I will go out there and check on that. And if I get out there and then they don't hire me, I go somewhere else and try again. She's been trying for over a year with no luck. Today she's trying the EOA office. The federal government is sending $17 million to Georgia for the summer jobs program. And even though those jobs will only last a few months, Deborah and many like her who qualify will compete for those jobs just so they can feed their families. Right now, Deborah and her child are getting by living with her mother who's on welfare. But that won't last forever. Just as it's not easy for Deborah Smith to go out and find a good job, it's not easy for the government to solve the overall unemployment problem. And as the economy gets worse, so do the statistics, and unfortunately, so do the lives of the people the numbers represent. Gary Reeves, Action News.